Today's demo will show how we use Hadoop to analyze Clickstream data to increase online conversions and revenue. Clickstream data is a trail a user leaves while visiting a website. It is typically captured in semi-structured web logs. One of the original uses of Hadoop at Yahoo was to store and process their massive volume of Clickstream data. Now enterprises of all types can use Hadoop and Hortonworks data platform, also known as HDP, for clickstream analysis to optimize the user path, do basket analysis, predict the next product to buy, or allocate their web resources. Today's demo will focus on the path optimization use case. How can we change our website to reduce bounce rates and improve conversion? To answer this question, let's use Hadoop to transform our site's data in three steps. We will load, refine, and visualize the clickstream. First, we need to load the raw web logs with customer and product data into the Hadoop distributed file system known as HDFS. This is how we create a data lake that can contain years of data in multiple formats from many sources. First, we move our clickstream data files into HDFS. Hadoop allows you to directly mount the HDFS file system onto your computer so we can load data with a simple drag and drop. That file contained five days of clickstream data, about four million rows. Throughout this demo, you will see us process the data in our Hortonworks sandbox. You can download this from our website. Each log entry has a timestamp, an IP address for the user, the destination URL, and a cookie identifying the user. We also loaded the user and product files into Hadoop. To refine the data, we will use Apache Hive to join the three datasets into one master set. Hive is the de facto standard for SQL interaction with Hadoop data, allowing us to easily process millions or billions of rows. Let's begin by using a saved Hive query to combine the web log data with customer and product data. With this Hive script, we will join the Omniture web log data with product data and our customer table. Now that we've completed the join, Let's transition to a business user who needs a BI tool, like Excel, to harness the power of that data. Behind Excel, we use an ODBC connection to Hive to import the data. Let's connect to the native Hive data source. This will bring up the list of Hive tables that we can access directly. We will take all the columns from the Unified Web Log Analytics file and import those into Excel. That data still remains in our data lake so we can pull it again in the future to answer different questions. Voila, our data is ready. Now we can visualize our clickstream. Our visualization shows us how to optimize the website by identifying the pages with the highest bounce rates for our target customers and converting more visits to sales. We have millions of rows to look through. Let's begin exploring that data. First, we will visualize the countries of origin for our web visitors. Next, let's view visits from different states within the U.S. Let's modify our search criteria for just the states. We can color the data for each state by product category, like shoes, clothing, or handbags. For example, if we look at the state of Florida, we can see that most of the web hits are for pages on clothing or shoes. Let's focus on clothing and bring the analysis back to a national level to see who visits our clothing pages. We'll pick clothing as the product category. Now we pick gender and select both male and female. Finally, we draw the graph so we can see male and female shoppers visiting clothing pages grouped by age. Clothes shoppers between the ages of 22 and 30 is a good target segment. Men in this age group make most of the visits. With this information, we can optimize web pages for men between 22 and 30. But which pages are those? Where are visitors from that segment bouncing off of our site? Let's filter the data and look for the distribution of the last page visited by these shoppers before they left our site. First, we'll select the age group. We'll filter by male visitors. Choose IP addresses in the US. And finally, 
choose the last URL visited during the session. After sorting the bounce pages, we can see that there are four top candidates for improvement. We've used HDP to derive this insight from a huge Clickstream weblog, combined with customer and product records, all in our data lake. We did this in a matter of minutes. Now we can create alternate versions of these four pages, test them against the status quo, and roll out a better web experience that improves conversion. We've shown only one use case about how HDP helps us store and analyze our Clickstream data. But all this data is still there in our data lake on HDP, and we can use it to answer other questions. We can refresh the data frequently and use it for basket analysis, A-B testing, and personalized product recommendations. You can start analyzing your own Clickstream data right now with the Hortonworks Sandbox a single-node Hadoop cluster that you can load to your laptop for free. Go to the Hortonworks website and start playing in the sandbox.